What's up guys, it's your boy, Drop a Legend here, and today I'm going to, guys to show you my um, tactics, my um, game plan tactics that I've been using in FIFA that actually got me uh, a rank 3 finish, uh, managed to get like 17 and 3, with this team right here, we got Kiesa so who done the SPC, he's pretty good you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys, as a winger, he's very good. And without further ado, let's get started, so these are my tactics that you're going to see on your screen right now. We've got four tactics. We got the five, two, five, one, two, and five, one, two, two, four, triple two, four, three, two, one, and the four, four, two. Now this formation here, just for in-game, just for um, to get into the game. But obviously, I don't use the four, four, one, one. I use this formation right here, the four, triple two. So it's four, triple two. It's been like my favorite formation so far. Um, I'm trying to get back into like the 4-4-2 but 4 2 is working well for me at the moment 45 width defense cells on balance 45 width depth is on 60 balance for build up play chance grade is on direct passing 55 width 4 players in the box and 2 for corners and 3 kicks this is, this is how set the team out so we have the strikers on getting behind the attacking mids on comeback on defense getting to box for the cross the two CDMs, both of them on stable attack and cover center. I would like to have one of them on like balance, but I'm not really comfortable yet. I'm just gonna keep it simple, so balance. I'm just gonna keep both of them like stable attacking. But once I get comfortable into the game and I get better players, then yes, I might have one of these guys on balance and one on stable attacking. The fullbacks are on stable attacking, cover center, um, not cover center, concern exceptions and overlap. Both my fullbacks. And for the keeper, it's come for crosses and super keeper. Now, this is the reason I use the 4 3 2 1 when I'm losing or feel like nothing's really happening. I got this information right here. Um, it's press up to process and loss. Very effective. You can use it as well. You can use like fire sub truce and it won't really drain your player's down as much. 50 width. Uh, the depth's on 75. Balance for uh, build up play. Chance creases on forward runs. 50 with we have with that six yeah six players in the players in the box three for corners and for three kicks this has a team out we have the strike the, the main striker on this balance the two forwards are just on the game behind uh, we have De Bruyne on um, balance attack and cover wing we have Koreska as the stable attack and cover center I feel like it's more defensive than um De Bruyne, Carissa is on the same thing as De Bruyne, balance attack and cover wing. And this is where it gets different for the fullbacks. I have one of them on stable attack and a more defensive minded, not really good on the ball. That is Walker, so he's on stable attack and an overlap. And I have Tellers on balance and overlap because I feel like he's better um, offensively than um, Walker. Walker's better defensively than Tellers, but um, offensively Tellers has the edge on Walker. And for the keeper, it's on come crosses and sweeper keeper. For the 4-4-2, this is the reason I use when hope is running out. This is my um, all or nothing for Mason. We've got constant presser, 50 width, 90 depth, fast build up for build up play, forward run for chance creation. We have the width is on 50, players in the box are on 8, uh, corners and free kills both on 4. So this is where we, this is the reason I use when Hope is running out and we need to go just force it the extra time, you know. So we're not being um conservative anymore. Um for the strikers are on stay but the start the strikers are on game behind. Both of my um, attacking miss on balance, stay in the edge of the box and cover center. Reason being because in case there's a ball, if um player's trying to clear it, head to, um away from the box, one of these two players can get like a shot off and just Get himself a goal for the wingers game behind uh, for the fullbacks balance and overlap for the keeper on some sweeper keeper the center backs on the stable attacking now this is the information i use when i need to hold our game or to see a game out it is the five one two two information that is very new and very annoying to play against now the defensive sounds on balance 50 width, um, the depth is on 41, 
for who would I play? I, I had to go for a long ball. Direct passing, 50 width. We have players in box on four, corners and three kids are both on two. This is how I set the, um, the five, this is how I set it out for the five, one, two, two. Both my strikers are on this balance. I have um, all my attacking, all my sentiments on like um, stable attacking. Uh, I have the Bruyne on cup parcel and stable attacking and uh, cover center. We have Kiesa and Finnissi on stable attacking cover wing, but that they can also try and um, get forwards. The full backs are on the wing backs, right? They're on balance for everything because I still want like I still want the option. I still want the outlet. So in case my opponent trying to like attack that middle, I know I got Walker and Tellers literally on mark because the the the, the wing backs here yeah, they don't get marked that often when you're using a five back formation. Uh, for the center, for the center backs, all stable attacking. I put my more slower center back in the middle and have my faster center backs on white and for the keepers on balance for everything so that is my um, tactics let me guys know if you're going to try my tactics out you can, you're free free to use my tactics it may or may not work for you um, division rise rules coming out tomorrow and also we'll try and get out a premier league game week predictions as well for you guys so yeah take care and goodbye.